Hey, I just want to take a second to say, if you'd like to see the extended version of this video, you should check out our Patreon. You can find the link in our description below. And if you become a member of our community, you'll get to be a part of a whole bunch of new activities. We have extended versions, exclusive videos. Um, we host four live events every month where we get to connect with you guys much more personally and intimately. And it's been awesome this past few months to get to uh, meet our community in a much like more different, special way. <laughs> anyway, uh, we hope to see you there. Check out the link in our description for our Patreon. All right, to the video. Good morning. Today is Crow's birthday. And so, hold oh, please. Arliss, they're just driving by. There's no reason to bark. We got some things to do. We got, um, we got to bake them a cake for tonight. We've got to, I've got to get a haircut. We've got to get some presents wrapped. We've got to go and order a cake for his birthday party. And uh, here's the thing. I'm gonna do something that's very out of character for me. <laughs> I'm cheating a lot on the food aspect because Things are a little crazy right now. There's a lot going on and I just don't have hours and hours to dedicate to cakes. So we're gonna give him what he wants. Uh, we might take a few shortcuts. Shortcut number one, we're doing a box cake. Shh. I didn't buy a tub of frosting. We're gonna make a lemon cream cheese frosting. Here's the other thing. Um, my husband woke up sick yesterday and is not feeling any better today, so I got this. I got this kind of on my own. But we're gonna make this all happen because I was kind of a zombie today. All right, I forget. Mixing bowl. What do we gotta do here? Boom, shakalaka. Easy as one, two, three. Pick mix. Water. Oil. Hansons. I still haven't unpacked our mixers. I'm gonna do this by hand. It says only two minutes, so this shouldn't be too bad. This is beautiful. So now we've got like 20 minutes to wait. Let's go check on Blue. Let's go see how the little baby boy is doing. Is he watching Christmas movies? He's watching Christmas movies. I'm not mad at that. So we'll let them cool. I'll go get my hair did. No, we were into the white clouds. Oh, I have a dog. I've been sick for so long. I forgot about you. Yeah, you're finally feeling better. Ugh. You barely made it through Crow's birthday. Listen, you did. His birthday I, party. I rallied to that party. Get out of this garage with mangy mutt. Um, listen. I could not have missed Crow's 10th birthday. Like that would have been, even the day of his birthday, which was my sickest of days, that was a hard day. But I still wanted to make sure I didn't miss it. And so I feel like such a milestone. He's now double <clears throat> digits and I don't know, feels like a big kid. But when you think about the facts, that he's now been alive for a decade. I mean. That's big, right? A decade. A decade. And he's closer to being an adult than he is to being a, a I'm baby. Not, I'm not okay with that. Right? But the thing is that in the last, I mean, 
Crow's always been a very like focused, intelligent, driven when it's something that he wants to do, but just a very mature for his age kind of kid that at this point, like, he, I mean, he's always there. If you need him and you ask him to do something, but I feel like he's always kind of been an adult version of a kid. I'm looking in the refrigerator and there's this sparkling water in here, which is kind of gross. Um, Cause it's, what is it, apple cinnamon? I like it. Yes, something festive -y. And do you remember that one time that we had a party and that's all we bought was flavor sparkling waters for the kids? And, they were all, <laughs> and the kids were like, gross, man, this party sucks. I know, our kid likes sparkling water, but. Fail. Fail. We thought we'd go healthy. <laughs> This is my first time with this person because I'm always searching for somebody because we keep moving and I always am trying to find somebody to cut my hair. So let's see. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be good. All right. Yeah, not bad, right? Okay. We're having a birthday party for Crow this weekend. And we were getting a different cake. It was a little bit smaller, maybe a little nicer, but then we invited so many people and we realized we were going to need a lot more cake. So I have to make a bit of a hike out to Costco. It's not the closest place. Um, but their cakes are massive. And for a grocery store cake, are actually pretty tasty. A full bar is a sample? A full bar? That's a good sample. Mm. Love a good Costco sample. Mm. Okay, so the cake is ordered. Now we gotta go order some pizzas for the party as well. Order some pizza. Easy breezy, that was no big deal. Is this my car? No, that's not my car. Now I gotta find my car. This parking lot's huge. I don't know where my car is. Where did I park? Um, maybe we'll hold my Kia? It seems to work, right? Oh man, I'm gonna be honest. I've even tried to get into cars that weren't mine before because I thought they were. But sometimes, there's only so many cars and they all look the same, right? Oh, this is so annoying. I want to push my like little alarm button, but it'll make such a scene and there's so many people here. I'm not sure I'll have a choice. Let's do it. Uh-oh. This means I'm not even close. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> I told you to make a seat. I was looking. I was on the other side of the parking lot, and everyone's watching me. Ah! Having a kid that turns ten really makes you stop and take stock of where, how much the kid has grown. Like he's just grown so much, and you're really seeing his character develop, and like he come into his own sort well, of identity and personality. Yeah. Well, character and I would say independence. Independence. He's That's a big a one. very independent kid, which is nice. Uh oh, he's coming up here. We better stop talking about him. No. You know how long it took me to do that? I'm Mr. Independent. I'm going to undo it. Play some basketball. Beautiful day. Oh, it's called Pitchback. Oh, no. Pitchback? Pitch Just call it Pitchback. Yeah, pitchback sounds better. Pitchback, batty whack. I mean, just that. We're talking about him indep being independent, right? Like, he's in there writing thank you notes to all the families, his friends and their families that brought him gifts and celebrated his birthday with him. And he's making sure he's listing every single thing that was in the gift bag. And I feel like, I as a kid, <laughs> No. I didn't do that. I don't think I ever wrote a thank you note as a kid. I don't think my parents ever had me do that. Tangerine. Isn't that tempting? Look, now we have 24 of these I, Somebody was drinking one. I saw at one point somebody had one. Oh, I'm sure it was 99% full, too. When it got dumped out. 
throw it away. How are you feeling though? Um, I'm feeling sore and not camera ready. That's for sure. I feel a little better, but I feel like I need to lay back down. Keep sleeping. I want to be ready to go this weekend. It's the party weekend. Yeah. Um, Nice job on the balloons. That was a surprise. Oh wait, I need to go get lemons from the lemon tree, right? Uh, good luck with that. What do you mean good luck with that? Lemons are not ripe right now. <gasps> that, did you seriously think there's lemons out there? That shows how little you go outside and do anything. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, you might find a couple of them. Yeah, you might. I don't think they're going to be very good. This guy went from gardener of the century to not even wanting to breathe fresh air. Anything to do with outside, forget it. That is not true. That's it absolutely just, true. When was the last time you did anything outside? Last weekend, I weed needed a bunch. I ever so much. A bunch? How much is a bunch? Listen, let's go see what we can find on the lemon tree. Well, they're not the most beautiful lemons, but I'll clean them up. They're you funny. Sure, you sure you pick them from the right tree? So you didn't pick a grapefruit? Well, I know what the grapefruit tree is. A brick of cream cheese. Stick of butter. I, I almost missed the bowl. Butter and cream cheese. Both at room temperature, a little bit of vanilla. Oh, maybe I do need to find the electric mixer. This is gonna be a lot to do I need. Four cups of powdered sugar. I think I'm gonna start with like two, and then we'll add as we go. in there though. It doesn't look very good. A little lemon. But I don't want to mess with it too much. We're just gonna go with this. You can try one. Watermelon? Yeah, I think that's what I'm not could probably be there. I'm always a sucker for something watermelon. Ah, see, it's just not good. Yeah, I want to try it, guys. Oof, you want to drink after me? No, actually, no, I don't. But are you ready for all the things that come with the second decade of his childhood? Um, things like... I'm actually not worried about it. I got to be honest. Like, romance, dating... Romance. Um, what are the more... Kissing. Kissing. Ooh, kissing, kissing. Uh, every time he sees kissing in a movie, though, he's like... Ugh. And what about the further independence of, you know, starting to have friends, and spending less time at home, less time... Um, I less don't... Time, I mean, getting a job and then that time occupying his time. Yeah, but I, he's so connected to us. I feel such a bond with him and he's not afraid to communicate to us. He's not afraid to tell us things. The only thing I, I do worry about is, you know, him being influenced by, you know, the wrong role model, you know? I do think about that. But I feel Crow definitely connects with the kids that are very much like him. 
Yeah, he's a good judge of character. Good judge of character. All the kids that were at the party, even like there were even a few that were just super rowdy and physical and trying to beat everyone up, but it's still like their parents were good kids, they were good kids, they're just rowdy and crazy, but not mean, not vicious, not not bullies, not you know, they're just nice kids. That's to be honest, I'm I'm excited to see him grow. I'm excited to see him become a man. I no. think he's gonna I tired know, I of him growing. I know, me too, and I joke about it a lot. That I want him to stay small, but yeah. I really am. I really am looking forward to seeing him grow and become just a, a grown human. I think yeah. he's going to be a really special person. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. It came out easily. Happy birthday, dear crow. 